Today we're going to show you poly platform development tools for the Altera Cyclone 5 SoC and how easy it is to deploy an application in asymmetric multiprocessing mode on the Cyclone 5 ARM cores. For this demo we have the following AMP configuration. Our hardware is the Cyclone 5 FPGA SoC development board. The Cyclone 5 contains dual ARM Cortex A9 cores. The operating systems are Linux on one core and Micrium's Micro COS2 real-time OS on the other core. The polyplatform runtime is used for communication between the cores. The applications are using MCAPI, or Multicore Communications API, defined by the Multicore Association, for the communication. Shared memory is used as the transport. And on the tools side, we're using DS5 from ARM and Polyplatform, which makes this a task of simple configuration rather than a programming effort. For this demo, we're using a two-node topology. Node 0 is running the Linux operating system on Core 0. And Node 1 is running the Micro COS 2 operating system, and it's on Core 1. For communication between the cores, we're using a shared memory link. Now turning to the applications. On the Linux side, our application is sending a message, updating the message, and waiting to receive a message back. The application is launched as a function by the main function. And on the micro COS2 side, an application does the reverse. It receives a message, updates it, and then sends it back. This application is launched as a function by the base application. The base application is used to initialize the operating system and then launch the application. Next, we want to deploy the applications in their two-node topology on the target system. Before we launch, we have to generate the topology from our GUI configured topology map. Then we have to build the two nodes and their respective applications with this just generated topology. We can build both the Linux and the Micro COS2 nodes from within the same workspace in DS5. Uh, we're using a Linux compiler for the Linux node and bare metal compiler for the Micro COS2 node. Now we're going to launch the applications on the target. First we're going to load the Linux application that we just compiled onto the target. then we can actually disconnect since we're going to launch from within the terminal. In the terminal we have to load the Linux driver using the insmod utility. Then we're going to load the application on the micro COS2 node. And now we're going to start our node 0 Linux application here in the terminal. Then we're going to start node 1 and its application here via the JTAG interface. And off we go. Now we're sending messages back and forth. That's how simple it is to launch an application in asymmetrical mode on the Cyclone 5 target using Poly Platform.